Hello Stats class, this is a homework question from your 7.3 homework set and in it we are trying to find the minimum sample size required to ensure that we are within a certain margin of error uh, on our estimate. So there's our margin of error that we want to get within. When you see the within, it's kind of a dead giveaway. Um, that's the type of problem that you're doing. But also it says it right there. Um, the formula we're using, you can find it in a question hub. I would uh, jot this down, you know, make it into your notes. That's what we need here, okay? And um, this is the the hardest thing about it. The rest of it can be just used uh, that, that formula for. But this is where you have to actually do a little bit of work is to come up with your critical number, which at this point hopefully you're used to finding that critical number. But um, a couple of ways you can find it. One on your calculator, uh, it's inverse normal because we're trying to find a, a z score. Okay, remember, it's z alpha and z alpha over 2 are z scores with alpha over 2 in the right tail. So that's inverse normal's job is to take in an area and to give you a z score. So I'm going to select inverse normal. All right, and then this is. Uh, the confidence level alpha is always 1 minus the confidence level, so I'm going to put in parentheses 1 minus the confidence level is 90, so just 0.9. Close that off, and that's alpha, okay, but it's z alpha over 2, so I need to divide this by 2. So that will give me the z score, it's actually the opposite, because we're looking for the upper one. So 1.645 is our critical number. Um, StatCrunch has a much uh, nicer version of this. With StatCrunch, let me show you where the, um, I'm at. I'm under Stats, Calculators, Normal. And then we need to select Between. And to get the critical number, you just take away these values above and below X. And as soon as you take the first away, um, well, typically that goes away, but once these are all gone, you can put in the, the area here, which again was 90, so I'm going to put it in as 0.9. All right, and then when you hit Compute, it'll give you the lower and upper Z alpha over 2. So this is the number, 1.6449. We usually write this to 1.645. It's one of those nor uh, ones that we use a lot. So 1.645 is the number we need. All right, now once we get that 1.645, we're plugging it in to um, this formula. 1.645 goes there with z alpha over 2 is. And then we're just plugging in sigma, the population standard deviation, and the margin of error, and then squaring. So let's go ahead and start at 1.645 uh, times sigma, which was right here, 205. It tells us to assume that that's the standard deviation. So that times 205 divided by the margin of error that we want, which was 10. Right, and then all that gets squared. So I just type it in like that and enter. So uh, 1137.2, but it tells us to round up to the nearest whole number, so that's where the 1138 is coming from. All right, and then what major obstacle uh, to getting a good estimate of the population mean? That's this one. C. It's difficult to precisely measure the amount of time spent on the internet. All right, so that's the um, the way to find that number. It's just using that formula. All right, adjusting z alpha over two for your confidence level. It's not always ninety five percent, and then just identifying sigma and e from the words. Okay, e will always be easy to find because of the within. That's typically right with it, and then. The standard deviation should say standard deviation somewhere in the same sentence.